Hello students. Let's have a look upon chapter 4. That is how to edit your worksheets or how you go to the changes in your sheet. Firstly, we will learn how to open our worksheet for editing. We just have to go on file, press open. Now you can see this window in your Excel. Here you will have so many project lists for recently opened documents or recently opened your worksheets. Recently opened worksheet is one only. So it is representing only one here. So there is a tab recent. What is used to show you the list of the recently opened documents of Excel. To open a workbook from within an Excel, you are having the shortcuts also. You are having a shortcut here is Control plus O or Control plus F12. Otherwise, you can go on File and go to the Open option. Now, there are options in the open screen. You can see them. We have discussed the recent one. Now, what is the OneDrive option for? The OneDrive is to open a workbook file that is saved in the cloud in one of your folders on the Windows OneDrive. When you select the OneDrive option, the right hand pane list folders on your OneDrive that are accessed recently as well as the browse button that enables you to locate other folders in an open dialog box. They all will be seen by you. Rather, you have to provide the internet connection to your PC. Other one is this PC. Other location is this PC. It is to open a workbook file saved locally on your computer's hard drive or a network drive to which you have access. When you select this option, the right hand pane list folders on your local and network drives that you accessed recently as well as a documents button that displays the open dialog box giving you access to the files saved in the local and network drives. The other option you can see is add a place. It is to add access to a folder on your SharePoint site or OneDrive. You can see the two options here. You are having the SharePoint Office 630, uh, 365 and OneDrive. When you click the 365 Office SharePoint button to log into a SharePoint site for which you have a user ID and a password to add its folders to the open screen under the computer option. The other option you can see is Browse. Browse is to display the open dialog box where you can select a workbook for editing from any saved folders. You have so many folders here. You can, okay. You can have so many options to find out your Excel sheet. You just enter your file name or you just select your file name from these folders present in your PC. The other thing is how to operate the open dialog box. After you select a folder and drive in Excel 2016 open screen or its browse button, the program displays an open dialog box. The open dialog box is divided into Paints. Let us see it.
you go to browse the open screen is here the shortcut to open the screen is control F12 if you open a new folder and it appears empty on all files here you have an option to create a new folder if you want to save your file in the new location of the new folder then you can just right click here go to the option new then go to the folder the new folder will be created here and you can save your file in the format of .xls or .xlsx and you just press save button and your file will be saved now you have the option how to change the recent file settings excel 2016 automatically keeps a running list of the last 25 files you have opened here uh, in the recent tab you can view the list of 25 excel sheets to change the number of recently opened file that appear you just go to file you just go to file then you're having options you're having advanced Now you can type a new entry between 1 and 50 in the show this number of recent document text box. It will be downwards I think. Here it is under the display tab. Show this number of recent workbooks. It can be two, one, three, whatever you want to enter it. You can change it from here. 45, 43, whatever name, number you want to give it. Then you press OK. And the only number of 43 files will be displayed to you. Now, what is the method to open the multiple workbooks? If you know that you are going to edit more than one of the workbook files shown in the list box, you select multiple files in the list box and Excel will open all of them. So, what is the procedure? You just click the open button. And select them by using the control key of your keyboard and then press enter. So all the files will be opened in which you want to do the editing. Thank you.